since patch 1.03, we've seen how an ability adjustment could change the whole outlook on a certain character. Ichigo went from being able to hit two Getsuka Tenshos to only being able to hit one while slotted as an assist. Ryo Saiba, his rocket spams has drastically been nerfed. In this video, I have five ability adjustments that would change the meta for good. Hey yo guys, your favorite Kage, Enigma Kage, bringing you yet another video. If you're new to the channel, welcome. I hope you subscribe and stay for a while. As for the returning clan, welcome back. I hope you guys seen my State of the Jump Force video. If you haven't seen that, give it a look guys. I dropped some gems in there. But as always, let's get started. Number 5, Cooldown. I know this isn't a specific ability, but they need to nerf the cooldown timing. It doesn't make any sense how the cooldown for an assist returns every 4 seconds or so. If you're using a Goku assist, by the time he finishes Kamehameha, he's ready for another one within 2 seconds. This is the only game that encourages assist spam. Storm 4 had cooldown times that were different depending on whether you were switching in or calling for an assist. I think before the DLC hits, they need to get on that cooldown ASAP. Number 4, Aizen's Black Coffin. Let's be real, the Black Coffin isn't hitting anybody on rank. Hell, it's not hitting a human opponent. The damage on the Black Coffin is ridiculous. So, I understand why they have the timing so long. So I propose they speed up Black Coffin, but weaken the damage output. The move is useless as it is at the moment. The increased speed and damage adjustment will be a good change for Aizen mains. Number 3, Korpika Holy Chain. Korpika's healing assist is the worst assist in the game by far. A match doesn't last long enough for you to even benefit the health increase. I honestly haven't seen a drastic change to your health while playing. It could be because you're constantly fighting. I believe if they change his assist into an attacking one, people will actually be okay with using him. Korpika is a fan favorite and has dropped down dreadfully in many people's tier lists. Number 2. Lightning Palm If you're higher ranked, you know exactly what I'm about to talk about. The usage of Lightning Palm is disgusting. It's probably the most overused CAC technique in the game. I do not want a damage adjustment, but I do want the move to cost a player about 2 bars instead of 1. Changing the Lightning Palm to a level 2 will lower the amount of CAC frustrating spam by a lot. So many broken combos involve the level 1 Lightning Palm. Making it a level 2 will force players to get better and that safety blanket they have with the animation window right before you know you have any idea of how to block will not be happening as often because of the level 2. Finally guys, number 1, Piccolo Special Bean Cannon Switch. So I know all the elitists will disagree or give me a lame excuse such as you can't achieve the same results with other assists. Which is true, it would take a hell of a lot more to achieve the damage output of a comboed special beam cannon assist, but it can be done. I propose they remove the move from Piccolo assist and strictly make it Hell's Own Grenade. The top 100 players, 9 times out of 10, they all spam Piccolo assist and they call themselves elite. In reality, exploiting a broke technique to maximize your damage is pretty weak. Remove that Piccolo from an elite player and watch how average they really become. So many players rely on Piccolo more than they rely on the actual main. <laughs> no, no, it's pretty no, no. sad that a high power stun lock is the reason why you're considered good. Jotaro and Dio doesn't have their punch combos because it will ultimately break the game. So Hell's Own Grenade switching in would change the meta drastically for the greater good. If you like this video guys, drop a like, share, and subscribe. Question of the day. What abilities would you adjust and why? This is Enigma signing off. Peace.